again. Happy Thursday, everyone. Good morning, Owen. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Um, it is about ten past nine, and Owen has an appointment at the hairdressers this morning to get his hair cut for going to school. Is that exciting? I'm a boy. No, but you can have it. We're gonna um, get him dressed now, so then he is ready to go, and then I will sort out this, and um, then go to the hairdressers. A big mirror, so you can see Owen. Did you be here time for me, Owen? Okay, I just just tickles. We are finished at the hairdressers now and I decided to look in Tesco's because all the back to school items are out and most of them are on offer most of the time half price and throughout the year I go through a lot of um, this kind of little notebooks and all that so I thought I would just stock up a little bit uh, while they are cheap and I also got birthday cards for upcoming birthdays and Owen got a little surprise he's going to show you that now yeah, a blue one. Yeah. And then a pink one. It's um, they are packets of uh, Playmobil figures, but you basically don't know what you're having. Uh, and to make sure he was not getting twice the same, I decided to go for two different series. So um, we know that for sure there will not be twice the same in the packet. And I will show you the rest of the stuff I got when I get home. Uh, because it's not really handy in the car so we'll see you when we get home okay so we're back home now and we are going to show you what we got and when it's going to start by opening his playmobiles because he can't wait we need scissors to open them cut 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 pull all pieces out whoop i think it's an egyptian one maybe let's see it's kind of one of one you got this one so the first one you got is actually like, um, I don't know if it's, she's Thai, like a Thai uh, lady, you know, um, but yeah, it's like an Asian uh, kind of princess. Although Owen spotted a, a problem with her, she cannot sit down because she can't bend halfway because of her outfit. Now we'll open the second packet, which is supposed to be the boy version. I don't believe in gender specific toys for children. Especially with Playmobil, so I decided to go for a pink one and a blue one for him. So I don't know what this is going to be yet, but uh, I will build it and show you. I don't know if this is supposed to be a guy from the Mafia or something, but that's what he got. So we have a Thai princess and a mafioso today. And here they are, the two new people of the day. So Owen wants to get that one with the puppy inside. So hopefully he's looking next time and on this one he wants to get the at sea uh, person. Okay. So Hello. hopefully next time he gets lucky. So this is what I got. So I got two of the, do you know those Puka Pads uh, project books um, to plan uh, one for my YouTube channel and one for my um, uh, Mademoiselle Puppet creations. They were half price so I thought I might as well. Then I have two little notebooks and I like this because you can detach the pages without having to rip everything. Those were half price too. This was half price too. Uh, I love those pens. I usually like to write a little message on um, the packing slips when I send orders and I don't know why I've got used to write with those pens and I love them. Then this is a sharpener. I already have another one but um, I have a stationery box that I keep. In the living room for when this stuff with my planner so I got one to keep in my office and then I found this 
in the reduced to clear section and it looked quite interesting because it opens up like this but it keeps the um, the tape inside so it means you can actually put it in the pencil case and you don't get all the dots stuck to the tape so i quite like that idea and then so i got some cards for family and friends birthday upcoming and then this was in the reduced to clear section of the wrapping paper three rolls of uh, washi tape and as you may have noticed i have a slight addiction to washi tape i just put it everywhere so i just thought i would get them they were like 75p for each pack of three rolls so i thought i have to get this i think i can hear a little baby waking up so i'm gonna go and see him now i'm gonna show you when i could properly i want to show your hair look at this he looks like a big boy do you love your hair Owen? yeah are you playing with your new people yeah i'm i'm making a video right now oh you're making a video right now okay. sorry actually still asleep I thought he was waking up I'm gonna start a washing machine because this is starting to overflow and then I will um, get we have this wall planner over there but it's ending um, at the end of August and I have the new one here on my furniture of um, throwing everything on <laughs> if I can call it like that and I'm going to update uh, I've already started writing stuff in it, but it's going to go on the wall on Tuesday next week. So I'm going to update it uh, to put the new things we have planned inside. And this one will be going uh, probably in the bin. So this is the box with all the Playmobil people and we are on a mission to find all the babies. Oh, I can find one here, look. This is my favorite baby. And there's this one. What? How many? You have three? I think you only have one more. There. There's four babies. Will we show them? Put them in my hand. Look how cute they are. Tiny Playmobil babies. Which one is your favorite, Owen? The green one. My favorite is the ginger one with the little penguin and it's funny because um, Owen got it in a box at Christmas time last year and I was not I was pregnant with Alfie and we knew he was more than likely going to be ginger and we called it little penguin in French and Owen got a baby Playmobil with ginger hair and a penguin on it. So but, uh, but I'm the, 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 you going to play with the babies now? Nurse has made some tea in a teapot and has not drank it. So I'm going to steal some for me. There will still be enough for him. Not that bad. Still plenty of it. So um, my best friend Sam just found in a box a CD of a song. Basically we used to write songs and make music together. Well, I was he was basically making most of the music because at the time I wasn't really efficient at music making. But I wrote that song and composed it first and then he made the music better, basically. And um, he even f sent me a picture of what we had written on the CD. So that was in 2001, so I was 16, so please do not judge. But um, this is the picture and it's just... So I find it funny. In a way but I listened to the song again he also found the um, CD inside with the song and the file and no you will not listen to this because I am cringing just even listening to it myself even James hasn't heard it is <laughs> so far I haven't been able I played I played it and then I just had to stop but I'm I'm still really proud of it because for the age we were we were actually doing quite a good job so we are gonna try to re-record that song now at, with what we can do now well we're going to try that because Sam lives in Paris and I live in Ireland so we're going to try and do something to do that and maybe then I will put both in comparison I don't know yet because the English is horrible I, I did write this song in English uh, and it's 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 not the best English <laughs> it's kind of like a Google Translate kind of English I'm guessing um, but yeah it's it's funny. So I've just been spending the last um, hour, roughly, uh, chatting with um, 
few people on Facebook, including a lovely lady called Kate. Hi Kate, I know you're watching this. Um, that who has been extremely supportive. Oh, hello, when? Um, I'm going to tell you something. What did you want to say? At 9 o'clock, I'm going to find my new wall. But 9 o'clock is tomorrow in the morning, okay? What? Why not? Yeah. Because we can't make time go faster. But the time goes slow. Do you think the clock is too slow? Yeah. Well, you're going to tell to hurry up. I wonder what he's going to do now. Let's see. Hurry up, you clock! <laughs> Can I continue to explain something, Owen? Can I continue to explain? Okay, I'm going to get you a hug. Oh, hug. Let's have a hug. Hug! Huggy hug! Um, yes. So this lovely lady called Kate has been extremely supportive from the start of my YouTube journey and um, she has a jewellery business and if you want to have a look she makes really lovely things so I'll put a link down here on my video so you'll see a link appear somewhere there with the magic of uh, special effects. <laughs> um, if you want to check what she does it's lovely. Um, and she's been very supportive and I just had a really interesting chat with her about um, what I could do in the future with this channel and what I wanted to do and there's something really nice that came out of this conversation it's that um, whenever I started this I wanted to keep it real to not put on a show in a way um, I like to watch YouTube channels that are daily life of people but that keep it real some people seem to be putting on a show a little bit and it's not what i want to do i totally get that it's what some people want to see and it's fine to do that it's just not what i am about so i wanted to make sure that i didn't come across that way and the way she described how she feels when she sees my channel it is exactly the way i wanted to come across and it's it kind of feels like a really big achievement to me that the idea I had in my head is coming across to viewers that don't know me in real life and that is just a really really nice feeling so thank you Kate for this chat because it really has brought a lot of happiness in my day I was just on my way to the office to talk to James and I just saw something really cute I had to take the camera to show you this Finally. Mm -hmm. This is what it takes to get us to sleep. A computer game. Yeah. He likes the well there is a fan noise of the computer and we're wondering if the white noise of it doesn't make it go to sleep every time. Plus it does seem to like computer screens or TV screens yeah. a lot. So this is one of those moments where I wish I liked alcohol. <laughs> um so actually was in this jumper room. Right? And there's a little um, butterfly um, toy on it that's attached to it and he's been chewing on it quite a lot except that this time he decided to bounce in it while having it in his mouth and um, it resulted in suddenly hearing him absolutely scream and when I went over he had a lot of blood in his mouth <laughs> I am terrible to deal with blood. I'm really, really, really bad. Yeah. The problem is that when you have young children around and you have to pretend you are not panicking inside, it's very complicated. So thank God for breastfeeding because it did calm him down pretty quickly, but I still haven't been able to look properly what's going on, but he's calm, so I'm assuming it's nothing. And the mouth does tend to bleed a lot more like it usually looks a lot worse than what it actually is so fingers crossed it's nothing it's not bleeding anymore or anything like that so i'm assuming it's just a tiny cut but i will check around after it's finished but yeah right now i wish i liked really strong alcohol to get over this because i am so so bad with blood it's bad so this is the culprit <laughs> that's what it was chewing on he usually trees on the wings, but he must have hit his mouth with the 
plastic bit. I'm not too sure what he has done, to be honest. But for now, he is asleep, so all is good. So I'm going to stop here for today, for the vlog. I have a little monkey. He's absolutely fine. <laughs> there was, um, it was just a bit scary earlier because, um, obviously because it was in his mouth, it was bleeding quite a bit. But um, it was just a tiny cut. He's all right and happy and bouncy again. And he went back in the jumper, no problem. And so, yeah. I think I'm more traumatized than he is. <laughs> you can say bye bye, baby. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you liked it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi.